Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. This is The Archer's Choice. This week on The Archer's Choice, well, we're heading north to Manitoba. That's right. We're going to go up to Adrenaline Outfitters, and we're going to go some bear hunting up with our Canadian posse. Bearing down in Manitoba once again. That's right. Manitoba's putting down some good bears. They are. And this week, we have Shelly and Russ Melling, and yep. we have Rod McGrath. And our lucky logo Our lucky logo is, this week true, is glow. true Glow. True Glow. So watch for the True Glow logo. True Glow logo. Can you say it faster? No. And at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do with that. And what else? Oh, Shelly's up first. Hey, Shelly, you go, go. Show the boys how to do it. You know, we've noticed that a lot of shows are doing more talking than hunting, and we're not going to. Is it? Yeah? Yeah. So let's do more hunting than talking. That's Carry what on. I've been trying Shelley, to do. Shelly's up. You go, girls. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Girls again. Again. <laughs> I know how big it is. Rod says that's big, and I believe him. <laughs> that's how big it is. I can see the show. And there's like, it's wide, like this wide, like that wide. Gee, Shell, why don't you get a little excited? Morning. We just came back to the just came back to the site and just found our first few spots of blood. And all we'll follow that. That's the plan. Something's going according to plan. <laughs> oh, and Rod wasn't going to let me shoot. <laughs> uh, this one came in and uh, there was a sow there. She held them there just long enough that, uh, that I got a shot off. I mean, if that was meant to be, it was just meant to be. That away, Shell. That, that was, was awesome. Cool. Congratulations. You go, girl. Now, you guys don't want to go anywhere because when we, we come back, we've got Rod and his daughter, Macy, That's and right. they go on a father and daughter bear hunt. Yeah, they're up in a bear stand together. You don't want to go anywhere. This is Macy's first TV appearance, too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because Gates has been there before. I could see the stars on her bedroom door now. Yeah, it's okay. Make don't go anywhere. 
Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now? Now we're going to join Rod yep. and Macy. Like we said before, we've said every week and we say every day, is this is what it's all about, is getting these kids out hunting with you. And I mean, we commend Rod for taking his daughter. That's right. Wait till you see this. This is great. And Rod, just be prepared because once you get the girls hunting with you, they will shoot bigger animals. Well, of course. That's kind of a... I can testify to that, Rod. Mm -hmm. Learn from my mistakes, Rod. Okay, Macy, what are we doing today? We are doing bear hunting. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, you sure are a pretty little girl. How old are you? Six. What grade are you in? One. And is this the first time that you've ever been bear hunting? Mm-hmm. Are you excited? Yep. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. right there sweetie it looks like he was running right down the hill there what is your line? I see him dad what get over here why uh-huh 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 what uh -huh. oh is that my bear yeah well let's go over there come on we got him Macy woohoo <laughs> oh my gosh, that scream sounds like Ralph when he sees a spider in the house. Well, what an awesome hunt we had. I can't tell you how exciting it is to be able to share this with my daughter. And Macy said, if a nice bear comes in, Dad, you gotta shoot it. And wow, who would have thought this came in? This was great. We saw bears from the time we climbed into the tree. It's been just a fantastic hunt. And sharing it with my daughter, I tell you, I mean, this it, it doesn't get any better. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. Your Bow Hunting World's Tip of the Week today is about where to place the strap on the tree when you're using your hunter safety system and the tether strap. You want to position the strap around your tree about an inch or two above your head. The reason you do that is so that should you fall, your, your tether here is going to absorb the shock and you're not going to fall that far. You want to make sure that when you do sit down, that it is snug, there's no slack in this tether at all. So that way if you do fall, it's not gonna fall very far. It doesn't matter whether you're hunting out of a ladder stand, a hang-on stand, or even a climber, make sure you always have a safety harness vest on because it will definitely save your life. And that's your bow hunting world tip of the week. You sure don't want to go anywhere, and that was cool to Rod and Macy, huh? That was. Congrats, Rod, Macy, that's awesome. And when we come back, it's Joel. Smiling Joel. Smiling Joel. Joel. Smiling Joel. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now we're gonna get to Joel's hunt, and you, you know the guys up in Manitoba, they have a, a different, different way, way of getting cover scent. Yeah, watch this. It's the last day of the season in Manitoba, so today we come back very early, climb up into the stand, get all set up, safety belts on, the bugs are fierce, and we didn't see our friend. about six hours that he has to stay up there and if he wants to come down earlier than six hours Rod the cameraman may have a tussle on his hands that little guy he's not liking his position in life Rod's been poking his feet just to keep him from coming down past us and so far, he beat all over us <laughs> and crapped all over the place. Hey, Joel, don't worry. It's just a little natural cover scent. Yeah. <laughs>
this little guy. I think the reason that this bear came in is because I have so much cover scent on me right now. He peed on me two times and crapped on me one time. Well, last night was an unbelievable hunt. And I can tell you, we shot this bear in the last five minutes of the hunt. For all you guys that climb out early, don't do it because you will not be rewarded like this if you climb out early anyways. I didn't know if I could find him again or not, so I brought my excellent, excellent guide and tracker with me. Hey, buddy. Did we find the bear? Does he look good? Yeah. What was your job today? You took care of the wood ticks, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Those are bad bugs. Is Anyways, that where you shot him? That is where I shot him. It was a great shot. It was an awesome night, and uh, man, there was a sow that came in that was enormous. I just about just about decided to shoot her until she walked into the clearing where I could judge her properly, and it was a sow. That thing was huge. And beyond that, we had a little bear. When we climbed up, we didn't realize that there was a bear right above us, a little cub who had been treed, and I guess we treed him. And uh, I'm telling you, that was action all night long. That little guy did not like being up there for eight hours long and kept climbing down trying to fight with Rod because he was a little higher than me. And uh, you know, it was a great evening. But I mean, Manitoba bear honey, you can't ask for better. Hey, you guys don't want to go anywhere. Joel, congratulations on your bear. You know, I, I think collecting that cover scent like you guys, it, it might catch on. I don't know, it oh. make you feel kind of poopy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now, finally. Finally. Poor Russ. Oh, it's poor Russ's Russ turn. does all the work and everything, and he's got to wait till the fall. To actually go hunting. So don't go anywhere because you don't want to miss poor Russ. Poor Russ. <laughs> Sad poor Russ. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well, now it's poor Russ. Poor Hard Russ's Hard working turn. Russ. He had to wait till the fall, but fall's a good time to bear hunt. It is. Uh, if you're wondering about the blaze orange, in Manitoba the fall bear season is considered a general season. So uh, I get to don the bright flaming orange for uh, the fall season even though I'm hunting with my bow. But i uh, got to keep it legal. Uh, everybody else got to tag out in spring. I'm going to give her a try. I ran out of time this spring. But loaded up a bait for fall. I drugged Trevor out here to run a camera for me and hopefully on my only sit this fall I'm going to get a chance to knock down a bruiser bear. Uh, in three, four days I leave for a month for the Yukon, so uh, I doubt when I get back any of the barrels will be still roaming around. So it's my one and only chance, I'm going to make the most of it. six bears all inside here. We got a sow that just treat her cubs. We had two small boars feeding. We had one better bear come in. He's a nice long boar. Beautiful, beautiful hide on him. I told everybody I was shooting a bear at 745. I couldn't wait. It's only 730. So the shot looked great. I'm going to check the, the video once uh, we get out of the tree. But I think uh, we just got to wait a few minutes and we'll go check out the blood trail. When he took off, I could see about after the third leap, it started pumping out real good. That little nitro on a number on him, I'm sure. We'll give it a few minutes and we'll check out what happened. Well, it's been about 10, 12 minutes. Oh, good. 
Uh, there's another bear circling the bait right now, but uh, we're gonna go after the one I just hit. Uh, it was a perfect night, perfect wind finally. Everything just was falling together. There was bears on the bait when he walked in. There was bears on the bait almost all night. Uh, this guy came in, it looked like I made a great hit. We reviewed the video. Looks like I went in a touch high, but I may have hit the opposite shoulder and, and it was a pretty good angle coming down. So uh, we're gonna pick up the blood trail here. We got about 15, 20 minutes till sunset. So hopefully we can get the job done tonight rather than having to wait all night and come back in the morning. We got him right there. Awesome. Just before I went to the Yukon, and I got an awesome, awesome bear. My last chance to actually hunt. This. He is going to be awesome. He's got a beautiful pelt. I was worried that the pelts would be a little short this time of year, but uh, they definitely filled in. The first couple of pictures from the uh, from our stealth camp showed fairly small, short hair and thin bears. This guy's definitely put on the weight in a little while. He's got a good pumpkin on him too. That's awesome. Even with the blaze orange on, I was lucky enough that there was enough other bears to distract him. And I am tickled with this bear. Hey, congratulations, what? Russ. That's it, guys. We sure want to thank Adrenaline Outfitters. Yeah, we want to thank all of our Manitoba Posse and Manitoba Tourism. And don't forget about the lucky logo. That's right. It if was you, True Glow. If you happen to see the True Glow logo, which is kind of an orange-green kind of a thing. True Glow. Yeah. Um, log on to ArchersChoice.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some stuff. You know, a big thing, we start, you know, we're trying to show a lot of bear hunts, and the reason being is because bear hunting's under attack. We need to band together. We need to stop the fighting amongst ourselves. But more importantly, we need to educate people on bear hunting. Just like down in Florida, Hoppy, mm -hmm. they're getting a lot of problem bears now. That's right. I mean, and it doesn't matter how you're hunting the bears, baits, dogs, spot and stalk. We need to stop the fighting amongst ourselves as bear hunters because all of us like to bear hunt. And if we start ripping apart one type of bear hunting, basically We're in trouble. the anti they're going to take it all away from us. So remember that. We're glad you watched this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Let's go home. Go, go.